Hello and welcome back to Eternal Step where I've turned the volume up because it would appear that I've been playing this very quiet. Like half of my games you can't really hear the game volume anymore and it's like whoops because obviously I haven't really looked that closely to how the volume was doing. Hopefully the volume levels on this one will be okay. We're gonna take the stiletto like dagger should be quick and I may have had an epiphany on some of this shield stuff so these aren't shields these are armors obviously i've got the king's armor which might be the best idea to take to be honest good defense or should i go for no we've got to take the king's armor for now there should be new armor coming in soon and look at how much armor i can i can recreate that king's plate and i'm taking on a boss so yeah anyway Retaliation damage is of course my thing, but the recovery, I kept thinking stamina recovery, no, it's probably when you break your shield, isn't it? As long as you don't break it, the recovery is irrelevant, but when you break it, it takes a long time to recover, and that's how I believe that works. Right, so we're going to take the terrible recovery one with the great block, and just as long as we don't break it. We should be fine. Right. We don't have enough monster bits to... Or do we? Is that only five to create the artillery? That's not bad. I really thought it was 15. 15 for these. We do have twice handy, of course. Which, I don't know, is it going to be useful? I think the artillery might be the most useful. Projectile might also be useful, but we're going to take artillery. And of course, we always take Rush. And we're going to see how we do. Can we take the Christmas box on and beat it? I hope so. I mean, I don't know what strategy I would come up with other than that. Right, we're going to, of course, stomp the box. Is there a present? Oh, is there monsters? Of course there are. <laughs> Hello, guys. Hey, you guys. Kaboom! Oh, <laughs> I was expecting them to go kaboom. I must have hit and triggered a bomb guy. I wonder if there was a ooh, flurry thing in there that was the other one. Right, so Russian flurry. I don't know if we want any other things out of the rotation. We obviously don't want a vein because I. Really, seriously, I might need some advice on what a vein does and how it works. Maybe it just doesn't work with daggers. Maybe it's good for something else. But, really, I just don't think it works. <laughs> Very well. Oh, bleep. Please bleep. Why do you bleep sometimes? It's like, nope, we're not going to change the direction that you're going with that. You can't press up to make it go up. No, no, no. Bleep. <laughs> Leave your message after the bleep. That was the worst door possible. Two. Well, I assumed you could probably get a one, but still. That's ridiculous. That's terrible. Also, artillery could trigger a thing that we don't want it to. Oh, come on. You could have shot at the other side. <laughs> but still, sort of cool looking artillery. It doesn't shoot too fast either, so, you know, it's not like, oh hello, dead body of me from killing the Christmas box or trying to, because otherwise, I would never die on floor three, floor four. No presents though. Right, so we can store the rush ability. Yeah. Just checking I was pressing the right thing. <laughs> Um, sure, still the flurry. We've got plenty of weapons, so it's not like we're short on the weapon front. Fragmenting cards, useful to keep using your favourite weapon. Ooh, he has the glow. So that's another monster card, I believe. Otherwise, I haven't worked out what the eyes are. And you see what I mean, they're not eyes you see through, they're orange letter eyes that glow around the enemy. <laughs> Just a regular hit. 
Right, I was concentrating a bit then because obviously I was dodging through a lot of things and wasn't getting hit at all. It's pretty cool. No presents. No presents. Interesting. Also, is the boss based on your level? Because if so, then it would mean resetting all progress and going back down to level 1 maybe might make the boss infinitely easier than at level 60, for example. Wait, does that use up stamina when I'm just sat there waiting? I wonder. Also, there's a hell of a lot of traps in here. There aren't normally this many traps in this layout. It wasn't a challenge, it was like, extra traps! Traps everywhere! Also, where were you aiming, guys? You weren't even centred on me. One of you might have been, but the other, miles away. Um, we're gonna pocket the stiletto, because then we've replaced it with Turkal. Oh, come on! I saw this in the notes, and it says rolling at least had been fixed into rolling into the exit. Apparently rushing into the exit isn't. Control shift F12? Yes! Force death. But still, it's wasted my cards. Died doing what he loved, being painfully stabbed. <laughs> By me. Because it wasn't. I died of a glitch! Died on the floor at 60. Oh, that is a pain. What if I lost my cards? Do I get them back? Because I don't want to have lost my cards for the sake of that. Like, well, we probably have. Yes, we lost our cards. What a pain. That is annoying. And you'd think that the Control Shift F12 get out would save your cards. Right, well that's it for today, because I'm going to be playing pissed off with voice. Just no time for some more. Thanks for watching. Because I lost some good cards though. And I lost my monster cards. Because I used my monster cards to create that. So that's annoying and they're not so easy to come by. Let's have a look anyway. Yeah, whatever. Oh, to hope that, because it's gone to a new book, doesn't get to think Because look. We used five hour monster points, we didn't get five monster cards back. It's a good job I didn't take twice handy then, isn't it? Because I was considering it. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.